What's up everyone, Tommy with Studio Sins here. Thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. It's that time again to do another cheapy list. Fragrance cheapy videos are among some of my favorite to do and according to analytics, some of your favorites simply because it's really hard to find those fragrances out there that are really inexpensive, but the fragrance smell and performance isn't commensurate with the cost. It's a punch above. Those are typically called hidden gems. So what I've done today, and we're gonna go into detail after this brief intro, I'm gonna give you some fragrance duo recommendations that are perfect for fall weather, for cooler weather. Got that and more coming your way, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. Today's an exciting video because I've got five designers, a total of 10 fragrances. Now these fragrances are all gonna be very inexpensive, very affordable, doesn't matter what kind of budget that you have, you can likely afford these. I'll not only tell you the price, but I'll leave the links below if you wanna check them out, purchase them. But let's not waste any more time, let's get into this list. The first designer I'm gonna make a duo recommendation of is Guess. Guess has a lot of fragrances out there that are kind of watered down, kind of very poor performing fragrances. Well, here are two of them that actually smell great and perform really well. The first one I'd like to recommend is Guess 1981 Los Angeles for Men. When this was originally launched, it was kind of a surprise because it's a pretty good quality fragrance, especially for a cheapy that has some darker notes and normally a spicy oriental fragrance just kind of goes meandering into terrible performance or non-performance. This one, however, not only does it smell great, but it performs really well. And it's also one of the few fragrances, especially cheapy fragrances, that has the note of plum. It's got bergamot, plum, and black pepper in the open, red ginger, geranium, and spearmint in the heart, and then a base of vetiver, amber, sandalwood, and that ever-present tobacco. Now, what I like about this fragrance is you get that tobacco right from the get-go. As soon as you spray it on, you get that nice amber tobacco combination at the very beginning. It's just a really well-blended fragrance, again, for a cheapy, and you can get a 100 ml bottle for about 21 bucks. 1981 Los Angeles for Men by Guess. The next guest cheapie that I'm duoing with 1981 Los Angeles for Men is actually from the Seductive Om line. The Seductive Om line actually has a couple decent ones. Seductive Om Blue is a good one, but my very favorite is Seductive Om Noir. Another surprise from Guess in that it is a spicy oriental fragrance that performs decently well, but it just smells really good. This is a cheapie that I recommend every man to have because it's just very hyper versatile. You can wear it anywhere on any occasion it's great for layering as well. It opens with black pepper, grapefruit, and nutmeg. The heart is lavender, apple, and orange blossom. And then of course that base, which is the base is my favorite because those are the components that pull everything together and pretty much where the fragrance stays for the longest in terms of aroma is tonka bean, sandalwood, and liquid amber. And that's an aroma chemical, of course, approximating the entire kind of a feel body of, of amber. And again, just like 1981 LA for men, you can get a bottle of this for 21 bucks. Seductive Om Noir by Guess. All right, we are moving from the house of Guess, the Guess house, guest house, <laughs> into a German house, Yope. Yope is not my favorite designer. There's a commonality in all of their fragrances, but there are several that kind of stray from that cookie cutter fragrance smell. And these are a couple of them. I was very impressed when this fragrance first came out. It is wow. More of a mature man's fragrance. I wouldn't say anyone below the age of 25 would probably enjoy wow. It's a super unique and fresh fragrance. It's really close to being signature scent worthy. It's that different, I think. Yope Yope Wow has bergamot, cardamom, violet in the open. It's got geranium, fir balsam, vetiver in the heart, cashmere, tonka bean, and vanilla in the base. And that combination of cashmere, tonka bean, and vanilla is what brings that slight sweetness, the richness to it, and that kind of a earthy base. Of course, along with the patchouli. Patchouli is very earthy. Vetiver is very dry and earthy and, and gives it a kind of mature elegance that's lacking in a lot of men's fragrance. And for a cheapie, that's stellar and this is a really in my estimation a stellar hidden gem and you can get a full bottle a tester for about 22 bucks the next yoke fragrance that i find refreshing and interesting is especially for cooler weather and fall is Yop Om Wild. Yop Om Wild, the fragrance itself is really interesting. It opens with pink pepper, you've got fougere notes and some rum, so it's got a nice boozy heart. And then you've got blonde tobacco and woods in the base. It's actually a pretty good performing fragrance as well and you don't have to really worry about performance. It comes in a 125 ml bottle. You can spray it on whenever you want. It's a pleasant, warm and inviting fragrance 
And I would actually say that this can actually punch up and out of sweaters, jackets, things like that, especially for cooler weather. I think it got some negative press when it first came out, but I think those people didn't really try it out or, or, or at least stay with it because it's uh, it's a good fragrance and, and especially for the price. Now this one is just a bit more, but it's definitely well worth it. You can get 125 ml bottle for around 30 bucks, 35 bucks. Yop Om Wild. <laughs> Okay, we're stepping away from the German designer, German province, and going to Vince Camuto. I don't know about you, but when I think of Vince Camuto, I think of very clean leather because the OG Vince Camuto kind of a leather-oriented fragrance, and a lot of his fragrances have that whole clean leather smell about them. These fragrances, however, while they do have a hint of maybe of a light suede or a light leather, are a bit more interesting. The first Vince Camuto fragrance that is a cheapie, they are on clearance at fragrancenet.com right now, fantastic price for a 100 ml bottle, is Vince Camuto Eterno. I do like these leather lined bottles. They've got, uh, they're all wrapped in leather. Not only the lid is wrapped in leather, but the bottles themselves, and they got that wide stitching about them. It has that really cool look. And then the gold emblem that looks like melted wax, but is gold, and then Vince Camuto and silver here. Great presentation, but also very nice overall aroma for a cheapie. The Turno is also one of those nice boozy fragrances similar to Yop Am Wild. It opens with a bit of mint and citrus notes. The heart is where you get saffron and bourbon whiskey, where it starts to become more of a boozy fragrance. Then it rests on a base of patchouli and cedarwood. The Turno is a decently performing fragrance, but what I really like about it is just how it smells. Now, the projection is mediocre, but the longevity is really good for this fragrance. Great for cooler weather, as are all boozy fragrances. Vince Camuto Eterno. By the way, you can get a full bottle of this for 25 bucks on fragrancenet.com. The next Vince Camuto fragrance that I want to feature that is a cheapie is Vince Camuto Terra. Well, the name Terra makes you think of earth, so you automatically think it's going to be like an earthy kind of fragrance, maybe an, even an earthy unusual fragrance like Bulgari Man Terre Essence is, but it's not. There's an intense version of Terra that's also really good, but I just really like this because it's got a unique aroma about it that's not mimicking anything. Terra opens typically fruity with grapefruit, bergamot, and orange. It's got a heart of geranium, sandalwood, and rhubarb, kind of a sweet and sour note. At the base is woods, tonka bean, and vanilla, and that combination of tonka bean, vanilla, and rhubarb is fantastic and that's really what makes Terra a very unique sustainable fragrance with average performance great price you can get a hundred mil bottle that is I think a tester for about 22 bucks Vince Camuto Terra the next fragrance designer out of our five that I want to feature duos of is from the car manufacturer Jaguar. Jaguar, like a lot of car manufacturers, just produces a ton of fragrances and they're not all that great. Generic compositions mimicking another fragrance out there, right? But these are two that aren't doing that. That's why I want to bring them to your attention so you don't have to go through all of them like I have over the years just to find them. So I do consider them hidden gems. The first one is Jaguar Oud for Men. Now this is what I call a really nice entry level oud or starter oud. This fragrance uses combinations of notes to create an overall oudy effect. There's all kinds of woods in here, there's atlas cedar, there's black and pink peppers, there's cypress and bergamot all in the open. So it's got this really nice, refreshing, spicy open. It is a really super nice oud fragrance. For a beginner oud, not super animalic, not super challenging at all. And it's got a good bit of jasmine, cinnamon, vanilla, labdanum for some resins, as do pretty much all good or great ouds out there. So give this one a try. It's really inexpensive, sometimes hard to find, but I've linked it below to check it out. There's about 22 bucks for a 100 ml bottle. Jaguar oud for men. The next Jaguar fragrance I'd like to recommend in this duo is probably one that you can guess. It is one of my favorites for Jaguar. It is Jaguar for Men Privé. Privé is, I don't know, when I think of the word Privé, I automatically go to Oriental Spicy, and that's pretty much what this is. This has got a ton of floral notes in it, but it manages to be very masculine. Of course, you've got musks, you've got benzoin, vanilla, all, all the things in a Privé that would make it spicy or oriental. Similar to Oud for Men by Jaguar, the surprise in Privé, I don't want to set it down here, is the performance. It performs really well. Not only does it smell great, it's not one of those cheapies that you smell and you're like, okay, I really like the way this smells. I hope it performs well, and then it doesn't. 
this is all in and that's what makes it a great hidden gem and especially for the price because you can get a 100 ml bottle for about 16 bucks jaguar for men privé all right guys we are on our last designer out of the five for these duo of fragrances that are hidden gems perfect for fall for cooler weather this particular designer has a ton of fragrances in their catalog and again, though, it's one of those where you have to pick and choose because they don't all smell great. They don't all perform well. But the ones that do perform well, perform really well. And these are two that are really good and really popular. The designer is Davidoff. And the first fragrance is Adventure. Adventure is just one of those really nice. Now, it's not specifically made for cooler weather. It's just one of those that you can wear. It doesn't matter what the weather is like. It's just an overall very pleasant, very enjoyable, mature man's fragrance. Very masculine fragrance. It opens with bergamot, green tea, mandarin orange, black pepper. The heart is pimento and sesame, and the base is vetiver, sandalwood, and patchouli. It's just a very well-rounded, well-blended fragrance. Like, I forget how good this is. It kind of is a sort of a 1990s blue jean kind of fragrance. Something that you want to wear casually that kind of reminds you of yesteryear. And those fragrances are sometimes hard to find. That's what I like about Adventure. I think there's something in the scent profile of Adventure to appeal to every man. And it's definitely very inexpensive. You can get a 100 ml bottle for about 18 bucks. Now, don't confuse Adventure with Amazonian Adventure or Adventure Amazonia. The bottle looks very similar, but they are different fragrances. This one is just a straight up Davidoff Adventure. The next Davidoff fragrance, which is a duo to to Adventure Davidoff Horizon. I originally touted Davidoff Horizon as something that's sim a little bit similar to Terra d'Hermes. It does have that similarity in that it's got that little bit of an orange, a little bit of a suede vibe to it, but it kind of does its own thing in the dry down and goes its own direction. Horizon opens with grapefruit, ginger, mandarin, orange, and rosemary. Kind of fruity, spicy, open. There's nutmeg, patchouli, pepper, sesame, and cedar wood in the heart, continuing that kind of spicy, woody root. And then in the base, cocoa absolute and vetiver. Powdery, chalky, lightly sweet. Once it dries down, you're like, I'm not sure what this smells like. It, Again, it does its own thing, but it is very pleasant and it does perform decently well for a Davidoff fragrance. And again, it's very inexpensive, 20 bucks, sometimes less depending upon the discounter, and you can own a full bottle of Davidoff Horizon. Well guys, I hope you have enjoyed my 10 fragrances, five designers, these very affordable duos that are perfect for fall for cooler weather. I have enjoyed wearing all of these. If you've tried any one of these out, I'd like to hear your thoughts on them in the comments below. Or if you happen to come across a cheapie that's perfect for fall or cooler weather, let us know what that is as well in the comments too. But thanks so much though for stopping by, checking out today's video. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah,